Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode, all I have to go on is that I need to go and see Father. I am nearing the end, I think. Yes, thank you. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their tension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well... While you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your minute. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your minute men gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace, despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. Okay. So it's right next to Grey Garden. Cool. And I've almost leveled up, so this seems like an easy enough quest. And I am their general, so they should listen to me. Their general. Of course I spawn right into the right into a radiation storm. That's just my luck. Commonwealth citizen lives in that there observatory. Institute thugs showed up to haul him off, only he spotted them coming. He managed to fire off a flare gun, got our attention, and we got up here as quick as we could. Now they're trapped inside. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure him out here, since it'd be easier to kill him. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're going to take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you going to order the attack or not? 
Okay, quick save so I can load this back up because I don't want to piss off the Minutemen if I can help it. This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. You sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? I just want people to be safe, you know? I don't want anyone else dying or getting kidnapped or whatever. We won't start shooting or nothing. But you, you better get in there and make sure you're right. Hey! Cool. It's always nice to, you know, get through those speech checks once in a while. Exactly, did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd. I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to phase three and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. If he's really important to the Institute, then it's worth it. You're right, I suppose. Oh, this is all so distasteful. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. Yep, really great. Need him. Yet more speech checks. Okay, upstairs, I assume. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Uh. I don't know why I thought... I assumed I'd have to go upstairs when the marker, like... Hey. Do you need something from me? The, the quest marker was already down there. <sighs> I'm looking forward to working for you. Broken. Director. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Quick save. Are you a robot? Jammed. Please, try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help. Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, 
Fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. That was easy. And only one speech check too, which is nice. I hate it when I mess those up. Yeah, because I look like a general. <laughs> I look like a comic book character. To be fair, so does Kiri at this point. That is a good outfit, though. It's just a shame that it's the armor rating is piss poor. Okay, go back to the Institute. Need to pass them try using any piece of unknown furniture. Oh, cool. So in this one you have to use furniture, whereas in New Vegas and Fallout 3 you could just hit select on the... I don't know what it was for... I, it's, they will, I get my words out eventually. There was like a similar design between the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 controllers in that both had a start and like a select button and I, th I assume you just hit that select button on the Xbox as well and you just sort of stand there and wait uh, but yeah clearly they've gotten rid of it uh, for this game and you can't really wait in Fallout 76 there's no reason to Ah, there you are I cannot express how pleased I am our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The Facilities Division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. That's a good idea. Hopefully we can prevent violence and save some lives. Yes, that is one goal. And if you are to be the new director of the Institute, you should be the one to do it. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. The what, the what, the what? Ah, uh -uh. hello. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in tragedy for all involved. Rest easy. Know that the future is looking bright, and that mankind will thrive 
under our guidance. Well, that was... interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Okie dokie. Just mess around now with the transmitter. Ooh, is this? You can alter the weapons of the entire most companions of access in this. Okay. I was expecting them to explain what this model was, but never mind. It just looks like a rusted Mr. Handy, maybe? It's definitely not a Mr. Gutsy. I'm sure they have more weapons. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was inconspicuous. Just teleported right into the middle of town. We're having a sale on brooms! Oh no, wait, my programming is telling me we never have sales. Maybe you should buy something else. Let's see what you have. Anything and everything. Ooh, plasma. Hmm. Ah, 441, that's not bad. Alright. Let me look through all this. Have I already got a... L yeah, I'm sure I've already got a sturdy right leg. And uh, yes, okay, I'll have one. And I'll have that one. And... Done. Leg, steady, leather, right leg. Alright, that's what I got in it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Yes. And I got some ammo for the Overseer's Guardian, which is also good. Alright, that look somewhat decent now. Okay, let's go and see that guy. I can't remember his name. Hi. There he is, yes. Uh, Travis. Good old Travis. I, I don't... Let's try this. 
Yes. Okay. I usually don't. Maybe this goes here. Yeah. I don't know what went to, what's meant to happen. I have no idea what's going on. Um, uh, don't break my stuff. You go. If, you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. Ooh, hello. Okay, swap those around. Hey, I'm, 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 hi. Again, uh, hi. Hi. And success. Is <laughs> that guy? Is just like, what the hell? This person has just wandered into my shed, truck, whatever, and uh, just started messing around with my stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of happy now with that, uh, with that chest armor. That kind of looks alright. The the regular one, the regular chest armor, doesn't look that impressive, but that looks pretty good. Got like the canteen on the back and everything. Cool. So, back to the instead. There's a lot of zigzagging happening here, isn't there? Go here, do this, go back, go here, do this, go back. Like I've completed, what, like two quests in this episode already? Or I'm about to complete two quests? Consider themselves the Commonwealth's superior race. And if you play the first Fallout game, you also find out that they are infertile <laughs> through doing a side quest. One thing I can recommend though, and if you like Fallout and, want, and don't know much about the history of Fallout, there is a series um, called The Storyteller. That's kind of cool. And it goes through... It goes through all the lore from episode one of, like episode ep from episode one of the show. It goes through like the first Fallout game, all the way to Fallout Four. Uh, last I read, or last like video I saw, they were mentioning doing a mod for Fallout Four, or trying to, where they add um, the the storyteller to the game, which was a pretty interesting idea. Definitely one I think Bethesda should look into for if they do another Fallout game in the future. We're quite fortunate to have the synths to be us. Was that Robert Picardo? Our Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, hello. If I may take a moment of your time. We're having some trouble on the surface. There's a den of those abominable feral ghouls that's been threatening one of our scavenger teams. We've had to recall the synth scavengers until the situation can be dealt with. Hopefully by you. I'll take care of those feral ghouls for you. I'm very grateful for your help. I have no first-hand experience with these creatures, of course. But I've heard that they can be quite vicious. They are also quite territorial. So you should prepare for a fight. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna have to check up. I'm sure that is uh, Robert Picardo voicing that guy. Or at least it's someone who sounds like him. And for anyone who doesn't know who that is, he's in a ton of shows. Most notably Star Trek Voyager as the ship's doctor. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. 
My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Son. I'm glad you could be here to share this. Shouldn't that door shut? Sean. I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. And there we go. One bona fide reactor. 18 rands. That shielding does nothing. of hard work here we are we've arrived look what you've made possible now that the reactor works what's next for the institute let me get to that there's more work to be done before the institute's future is guaranteed the directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed i'm not going to attend you should be there as director And run all the way back just so they can be like, we don't like you. We don't like you. You're not from here. You're from the dirty above world. How many scientists does it take to get through a door? Take good care of yourself. We should capture a fellow ghoul and bring it back here for study. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I swear that is Robert Picardo. up again the oh yeah let's begin what kind of work will we be doing exactly well normally the directorate reviews and approves research tracks for the various divisions today however we're here for a different reason Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed? Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. Where are you going with this? What's the Institute's goal? Well... The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's just spit it out, shall we? The Directorate has decided that the Brotherhood of Steel need to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? I agree. We hit them hard, before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? Uh... What would the results of this choice be? I'd like to make a well-informed decision. Well, 
If we increase synth production, we'd be able to deploy more of them to the Commonwealth to aid in our operations. Weapon development would improve the weapons we have available to us now, making our synths more effective in the field. Which would you prefer we focus on? Synths are the Institute's greatest strength. The more we have, the better off we are. Well said. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Rushed work is smart and deadly at worst. I am somewhat considering actually choosing the Institute for this playthrough. Because I have chosen the Railroad and Minutemen in previous walkthroughs. And previous times that I've played it. Played the game. So I might just go with the... Uh, over the institute this time around and get the trophy. That and you know they are they technologically they are advanced, so it would help with the DLC when I eventually get around to playing the DLC. So father is still in advanced systems, is he? Yeah, so I might just actually go with the Institute this time around. Be like the, the backstabbing bastard and wipe out the railroad. To think I'd be above ground, suffering. Sean. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. And yet, as a leader, you must make those hard choices. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? They mean nothing to me. Never have. I'll admit, I'm relieved to hear that. Then I certainly hope I can count on you for what needs to be done. Because these fanatics cannot be allowed to continue to exist. They represent a very clear threat to the Institute. Small as they are in number, their twisted ideology ensures that they will never stop trying to strike at us. They must be eradicated. Are you willing to see to it? You don't have to worry about them any longer. They're as good as dead. Thank you. Do what needs to be done, but keep yourself safe. Kill Desdemona. Um, right, so... I'm curious though, does this ending lead to a more anticlimactic one? Where the Institute is just on top of everything and the overall, like, survivor? I wonder. Or does it end with you taking out the Brotherhood, maybe? I don't know, this feels like... Uh, well, I'll soon find out, because this is probably the ending I'm going to go with. Because it's the only ending I haven't actually seen properly. Uh, I can just imagine the Brotherhood's one being pretty boring. Or similar to this, actually, maybe. Because they, they, they're technologically advanced as well, aren't they? Compared to the Minutemen who use laser muskets and the other ones. Railroad. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that. The Railroad. Oh, how am I going to survive this? Okay, I can kill Desdemona. I'm going to save here, though. Just in case I try to. And it turns into an uphill struggle. In which case, I am not going to bother. I'll, I'll, I'll get beaten, I'll, my, my resolve will be beaten down, and I will join the railroad again. Okay, here we go. Quick save. Something on your mind? You don't look so good. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. 
I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? You're alive, so what do you think? I think you didn't answer the question. Things have progressed faster than we expected. You need to stall them, buy time any way you can, and step up your operation with Patriot. That's all we can do. Good luck. And, wait for it. Sam! Uh, Shit, we got company. Oh. You should wash your hands. Bye! And out. Where's the escape? Oh god, where, where is the escape hatch? And away we go. Okay, because I, I don't have to kill the, all of them, do I? Oh, I do. All right, never mind. Then. I sent Deacon back to Sanctuary Hills as well. That's not going to be good. Pam. Systems locked. Building statistical model for Operation Tea Party. All right. Oh, that went okay. Did I do that? Eliminate the railroad leaders. Well, uh, who's left? Deacon? Yeah, Deacon's the only one left, isn't he? Where's Dr. Arlington? He was here, wasn't he? Somewhere around here. Or has his, has his body disappeared? Because Tinker Tom's body's disappeared. Oh, there it is. Cool. Sorry, Desdemona. But I have found better people to work for. <laughs> I was going to say something else. I was going to say something cool there. I couldn't think of anything. Uh, right. Why am I... St why is it considered stealing when it's my weapons? Hmm. Do I destroy... Pam as well, maybe? Pam. Well, that's the end of the railroad. I have to go and kill Deacon now. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever actually gone with this, this ending before. So, it's going to be interesting. 
Uh, yeah, that's the wrong one. Back in there. Can't fast travel from out here. Oh, yeah. I need to go and kill Deacon now. That's not going to be fun. I'm doing like Ah, oh, I said I said Doctor Lee to the Brotherhood as well. So she's gonna ah, oh, I feel bad about that because I'm gonna have to take out the Predwin, aren't I? Somehow. Ah oh, well. And I'm shooting up the place. I'd be like, Doctor Lee, do you want to come back to the Institute? I'm on their side now. Mm. Sorry, Deacon. Old buddy, old friend, old pal. Well, he's with his wife now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to leave him naked, but never mind. Well, that's the railroad done. That didn't go too badly. Uh, if anyone's wondering what that sound is, it's just a sort of habit I do where I sort of push my hands together and pull them apart. <laughs> a random little thing, yeah, but yeah. As confident as we can be. It was always a loose network. But with the key players gone, it's not impossible that they'll be back someday. But it will take them time. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us, and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them, before they can destroy us. Destroy them? What exactly do you mean? I mean we eliminate all Brotherhood forces in the Commonwealth. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. 
We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Watson should be in the lab. He will explain the details to you. Time is of the essence. Alright. Right, I'm going to call this video to an end, this episode to an end. And in the next one, I'll be taking out the... Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. So yeah, I know I've taken quite a, like a drastic U-turn now. Like I was for a while, I was like Minutemen, Railroad, and now I'm just like yeah, Institute all the way. So yeah, take out the uh, Brotherhood next, and the Minutemen shouldn't be an issue for this like ending because they answer to me, and the main goal is just to protect the people of the Commonwealth, not to go after the Institute per se. Especially if I'm in charge of the Institute as well, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed the episode, hope you're enjoying the walkthrough as well. If you could leave a like for this video, it would help a lot, and if you could leave a comment down below, uh, show some support, or if you have a question, or just want to say a bigger comment on how, the, how you think the walkthrough is going, or what I'm doing, feel free to throw that in the comment section. And if you want to subscribe, there should be an end screen popping up at some point here with my logo, my channel logo on it, just hit that button and you can uh, be su you can subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with all the rest of this walkthrough and all my future walkthroughs. You can also check out the, w the playlists I have already. I have like over 100, 200 playlists on my uh, channel. So yeah, feel free to check those out. For now though, that's all. And until the next episode, you take care and have a great day.